A local nonprofit that serves the homeless in Gadsden is in need of some extra support from the community. News 19's Rachel Rip explains why and how you can help. Be Kind, Be Great doesn't have a brick and mortar location set up. They rely primarily on volunteers, donations, and their white van to feed, clothe, and furnish the unhoused in Columbia. And for the past five to six months, they've been searching for a transportation solution. Unfortunately, the transmission went out on top of several other issues that uh, caused the van to shut down. Um, it's just too costly to fix. So from that point, I started using my personal vehicle, purchased a 5x8 trailer, and started pulling the items um, on my trailer uh, with my personal car. Unfortunately, uh, caused some major suspension issues. They're in need of some help to continue these services to a community that would go unfed and unclothed if it weren't for them. Like Timothy Patterson, who just lost his housing earlier this month. This is, I think, the second time I got something from uh, this organization. So it's been really helpful uh, for me and really encouraging. And, um, you know, if I had money to don donate today, I would, because it's a good cause. Or Calvin Moses, who can always count on a morning meal. It's a help, because nobody else serves on Friday. One business from Florence is helping to answer that call with an $8,000 check coming in three weeks. Their community spokesperson knows Erica and has volunteered alongside her. We need more people like that in our community. Um, just not handing money and food out, but helping transition them into back into society and being in a better place for themselves. She reminds me a lot of my grandmother. Money wheeling its way to Columbia. Rachel Ripp, News 19, WLTX. Erica tells News 19 this donation will really help, but these vans cost anywhere from ten dollars to $13,000, so they're still about $3,000 short. If you'd like to help, look for this story on our website at WLTX.com.